Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Tierra the Realtor. And if you're new here, my channel is all about real estate, lifestyle blogs, and so much more. And today guys, we are in this beautiful Coventry model and it is the Briggs floor plan. It's 3584 square feet and this home is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna tell you guys, it's a 10 out of 10 before you even see the video. And you know, I never do that. This home is a 10 out of 10. Guys, it is literally, just, uh, I, I'm not even gonna ramble too much in this. It's a four bedroom, four and a half bath, three car garage, game room, media, and you guys, y'all y'all just gonna have to watch the video. That's just really it. So if you're interested in this stunning Coventry model, stay tuned. <laughs> finally inside of the Briggs and I just want to say already the door what first off this is not a wood door okay honey no this is not this, this door is given don't put your finger there it will it will not come with you okay it will be stuck in this door okay I'm gonna stop playing but no for real this door is heavy as heck <laughs> and I really like this door a lot I'm sure again you guys this is the model so just beware this is an upgrade I'm positive it's an upgrade but anyway, y'all, the foyer is beautiful. I'll get you guys a really good view of the foyer here shortly. But before we get too much into the little details, let's go tour the house. We're gonna start here to the right. This is the office. Of course, as you guys know, it has the beautiful French doors. I like that actually, that was kind of seamless. Oh my gosh, <laughs> who am I? But anyway, so guys, this is the office. And yes, it is cozy. And yes, in real estate terms, cozy is another word for small. <laughs> but you don't need a lot of space. You work in here, you got a little decor. It's nice. I love it already. The ceiling is not super tall, but it's not short at all. It's actually a really good height. I really like the space. It's very spacious. Of course, in the models, they really deck it out really nicely. They didn't go overboard with this one, which is kind of good, but they did enough. I like it. I love the accent wall and all that stuff. So this is a little teaser. But let's go this way. Okay, you guys. So this is going to be the first guest bedroom. And if you guys have been following my channel and my videos, you guys already know that this here is what I like to call the in-law suite. So this home actually has a, it, well, it actually has a bathroom inside the bedroom and it has a separate stand up, well, it has a shower and that's good for elders because, you know, if they need to like step over, they don't have to, it's very low. So don't have to worry about stepping over too high. Nice vanity, you guys. I know I have not told you guys the price of this home and this home is absolutely stunning, but I'm not gonna lie, they definitely should have framed this mirror. I'm just saying. But it's still a nice setup, but if they would have framed this mirror, I'm just saying, y'all know by now, it speaks volumes. And then they have their nice walk-in closet. You know, I can fit in here. You can fit a dresser in here. It's some stuff that can fit in here. This is a really good closet, at least in my opinion. And I know I kinda like zoom by the spacing of the bedroom. Let's talk about it. So yeah, this bedroom size is actually really, really spacious. This is actually a full size bed. It still has a little nightstand on this side. You probably could put one over there by the bathroom door, but it may be a little bit tight. And then of course they have really bulky furniture in here, but nevertheless, it's really still a good size and a good space, especially for new construction homes. And like I told you guys, this home, it is actually a really good square footage. So if you come into the powder room, you will notice that they did frame this mirror. So I'm very proud of them for doing so. And it's actually a good size. It's not a huge powder room, but it's a good size, you know, enough for them to do their business and move it along. But I love the fact that they at least put a framed mirror in here. I feel like they just really elevate the space 
and it looks so much better. So we're gonna go right across from here and you're gonna notice that they have a really good coat closet. Now this is the model, so they're using it as storage. So I think we're gonna head upstairs and then normally I know sometimes I close it all upstairs or downstairs, but I think the best way to do this video is I'm going to go upstairs right now because the downstairs is just too much goodness for you guys to see. Now upstairs is too, but downstairs, we're gonna say the best for last. Anyway guys, you know, y'all can stay down here. You can meet me up there and you know, you know what you wanna do. I'll see you guys in a minute. So lovely for you guys to meet me up here. How kind. So guys, y'all are gonna get really excited. So this is the game room. Oh my goodness, what? I'm obsessed. I am completely and utterly obsessed. First off, it's stunning. It has the open to below. I don't really wanna show you guys the open to below at this time because y'all are gonna get a sneak peek of what's downstairs and just know it's worth the wait. But this is also amazing. It's stunning. The space is crazy. They have a really big pool table, huge sectional. And then even with them having like a full on furniture up here, still have tons of space. I absolutely love it. And then this here actually is a little bar area. It has all of the fixes. It's supposed to be the movie. It's supposed to be the, the movie room, right? The theater room. However, they just kind of opened it up where it's not like an actual door. So you can actually decide if you want this to be instead of the media room. You could also have this like maybe a separate play space, maybe like another or a different flex room. Maybe have your real games over here or your real games over there. Because as you guys know, this is an open to below. And even though I didn't show you guys it yet, with open to belows, the sound travels. So the fact that they didn't close this in, you guys may want to put like maybe the kids or someone over here, or the teenagers over here have their toys so it don't travel downstairs as much. Let's continue to look around. I know it may seem like I'm going fast, but I'm really not. I mean, the house is just so beautiful. I want you guys to like see it all and I'm super excited about it. So if we come down this hallway, you're going to be greeted by this guest bathroom. Now this bathroom is a really good size. They didn't frame the mirrors. Y'all know how I feel about that, but I love the quartz countertops. I feel like honestly, you just can't go wrong with a nice white with a little bit of sparkle, the white cabinetry, and then they have the shower tub combo. Um, but it's still a good size for the guests. Now, if you come this way, what? First off, that's a walk-in closet. I'm just saying, that is a walk-in closet. Hello, I'm obsessed, thank you. And then now this is the perfect guest room. So in my opinion, the person that lives in the home, this should be one of their rooms, only because a is right next to the game room, right? So they can walk out and have a blast. And then also you have a nice stand on this side. You have decor on this side. It's really pretty. I love a good window seat. It is beautiful. It's stunning. And then like, look at this view. What? I'm like literally obsessed with this view. I love all the natural lighting. It has a chair. It's really, really, really spacious. I like that and I love the fact that the closet is like right here. Like this is just really nice in my opinion. I don't know, I like that. I like that it's kind of like right when you come in the room, right from the bathroom. And honestly, now that I'm looking at it, maybe this could be a guest room too. I don't know because maybe the guests would be where the party is. And it seems like they got their own secluded bathroom over here. I don't know, y'all tell me what y'all think about that. And then of course you guys are gonna see a little bit of the glimpse to the open to below here. And then you can see all of the open to below from the entrance. I highly recommend this be open. I love it because this you get to kind of look at me a little nosy. Who coming in your house? I'm just saying, y'all need to be watching who coming in and coming out. I'm just kidding y'all. <laughs> I'm just talking. But yes guys, now look at this room. Oh my gosh, it's a girly's room. I love a cute room. Okay, I'm a, I am definitely a girly girl. Now this is the biggest room up here, okay? This one, in my opinion, is bigger than that one. And it has the window seats. You have, first off, full size bed. Then you have your two nightstands on both sides. I love the fact that they're acrylic. 
with the gold accents. I'm obsessed with gold <laughs> accents, I just am. Has the dresser, plenty of space. Now this one would definitely be more if the older kids room just because, or another guest room, depending on how you guys would like to do it. It has a tub and shower in here. And then of course, all of the space in this one. The other one was not as spacious at all. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the, the mirror needs to be framed. I'm gonna keep pointing that out. And hopefully these builders hear me say this enough and they're like, man, let me frame these mirrors. I don't do nothing else. So yeah, so you have the tub shower combo and then you have another amazing, what's walk-in closet. I'm just saying. And then of course, for all my teenagers who's watching this, this is how you get out your house. I'm kidding, please. <laughs> disregard that and behind this door I didn't point it out but there is a linen closet in there so you know it just to put your towel so I do like that honestly this would be if I if this was my mom's house or my house I would have the oldest or the eldest child go there however you guys want to do it but anyway that is the end of the upstairs tour and i know upstairs i probably did not tell you guys enough how amazing the upstairs is but i want you guys to see downstairs first i mean right now i want you guys to tell me first off drop a white heart and then say next to the white heart at this time in the video what do you rate this house at so far I am going to honestly rate this house probably a nine out of 10 right now, just based on what I've seen so far, right? A nine out of 10. And the reason why it didn't have a 10 out of 10 is because of them frame mirrors, they, they get me every time. But okay guys, I'm gonna see you guys downstairs. Y'all can come with me or y'all can stay right there. It's up to you. I'm just saying. Okay guys, thank you so much for meeting me down here. You guys are too kind. But yes, you guys, look at this beautiful foyer. What? So of course, as you guys know, Christmas just passed, but this is the rotunda where you have your Christmas tree here and the beautiful curvature. And now if you got a real, real, real big one, probably wouldn't go here because everybody would have to move here, but that's neither here nor there, okay? But this is stunning. This is an entrance, okay? If you guys carry on, now this space is so open, so I am sorry, like y'all are just gonna get a lot of spoilers. I love a huge open concept and this checks my boxes, okay? I'm just gonna say downstairs, I'm gonna pre-tell y'all 10 out of 10, okay? And that's all I gotta say, I'm done, I'm done. But we're gonna start with the kitchen. So this island has amazing quartz countertops with the brown vein. Um, it really goes really good with the neutral colors in the kitchen. All the cabinetry is really nice, of course, this is one thing, I'm still giving it a 10 out of 10 downstairs. I am, but I'm gonna point it out anyway because that just wouldn't be me. Now, I don't like the fact that the handle pulls, as you guys can see, are black. And this is stainless, okay? Now, or nickel brush or whatever, whatever you wanna call it. Anyway, I will say, I personally don't like that, but I know why they did it and that's why I'm still gonna give them a 10 out of 10. They did it because as you can see, this is stainless, stainless, stainless and black, stainless and black. All the appliances, the hood vent, all of this stuff is stainless and black. And then their pendant lights is stainless. I, I don't know why I'm saying stainless, but it's, what is it called? I just literally said it. Anyway, that is why I, I'm gonna let it pass, but my normal OCD, this would have to be black. I'm just saying, but that's neither here nor there. Y'all tell me if I'm just being over the top. But anyway, I absolutely love the shape of the kitchen. It's definitely an, a beautiful aesthetic. Again, they're coming with this green. Y'all know my brokerage color is orange and green. <laughs> Let me just put this up here. Y'all see it, okay, y'all see it. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, guys, but I'm loving the fact that green is in. I don't know if you guys been noticing, but green is it. It's a trend, yes, but it is in. And every home I've done just so happen to have green in it. It's coincidence, I'm telling you. But yes, I'm loving the green backsplash. It definitely plays very well off of the tan cabinetry and then the wood and like, it's like kind of like a brownish goldish veining on the countertops, on the quartz. Love it. It's definitely given all kind of just, mm. 
But let's go this way. Oh, another thing I didn't point out in this kitchen, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, I am truly moving too fast. So at the top, what? I'm loving how they brought the cabinets all the way to the top. That is something that I'm really starting to like. And I love the pickaboo pick cabinets. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. You put some fine china. Clearly they just put some artwork. I would definitely be an artwork girl, so yeah, that's just me. But you guys, come on, let's go this way. So right here is the mud room. The mud room, I mean, what, what can you not, what can you not say good about a mud room? It's organization, it's to keep all of the shoes and just to throw things down where people can't really see it. You need a mud room, but I'm not gonna lie, you need to make it look pretty just in case someone does see it, or even if you see it. You also have a coat closet, which is very convenient because you would come in from the garage, which, this here is the laundry room. Now this laundry room is a really good size. Not the best laundry room we've seen on my channel, not by far, but it is still the good size. It has a lot of space here. Um, it has the shelving for decor, and then you can hang your clothing, and then it has some more shelving up there, and enough space, and then you'll have the washer, the dryer, and then of course the pump spot. I love that, cause yeah. What, why wouldn't you? Now everything over here, act like for a second, this is a door and this will be your garage access to your three car garage. So I know this is perfect. So you come into your garage, you take your coat off, you put it in your coat closet. And if you're somebody who works a dirty job, you take your clothes off and you toss them in the laundry room. And then you put your bags down here, kick your shoes off, and then you come home and you in your beautiful kitchen. So yeah, that's what I kind of like, you know, about it. So that's my little spiel on that. I hope you guys like that demonstration. But you guys take a look at this living room. These ceilings are, I'm almost positive, they're probably about 22 to 24 feet high. Yeah, it's the ceiling, yeah, it's massive. What can I say? I love a good ceiling. I'm loving all the natural light, all the windows. Me, I am a natural light window girl. Not only does it make your home look clean and airy, but it also makes it look bigger. So I love that so much. You guys have no idea. I also love this beautiful fireplace. Like this fireplace, you guys. I mean, y'all can't really see the details, but they put tile on here and it's like, they didn't overdo it. I'm a type of person, I hate it when I see builders really overdo it. I like all the neutral, soft, warm, like they really want this home to feel like a home, okay? Like already. So before we go into the dining room, I think it's only best that you guys take a look at this pantry. Now you know, this pantry has my stuff in it for all you guys who watch my stuff. So please, please, please ignore. But look at this. You guys, this is a grocery store. I'm just saying, this is this is an aisle at the grocery store, for real. Like, what? What? I mean, can you complain about this? I mean, for a house this big, you expect something like this. I ain't gonna lie, but this is like a mini, this is a mini convenience store haul. Like, come on, stop. First off, I would be obsessed. And then you guys, it's something about this dining area. It is really something about this dining room area. I, I don't know if it's the wood with the white and the gold. I, I just really don't know what it is on the white rug. I don't know, but it's really speaking to me. Like this is my aesthetic. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely obsessed with this house, especially this area here. And it's a really good space. Like, honestly, you could fit an extra seat in the center. You could do an eight seater here, honestly. You could even probably do a 10 seater. It may be a little much if you try to do a 10 seater because it may poke out just, yeah. Mm, it'll probably poke out. It may poke out a little bit too much because you really don't want it to go past the line here. So definitely, you know, maybe not a 10 seater, but definitely an eight seater for sure, comfortably. And then of course you guys had all the bar stools and the bar area for you guys to have it over there. But this home is absolutely perfect, perfect for hosting. If you are someone who loves to host parties, 
Christmas is at your house, New Year's is at your house, Christmas Eve is at your house, Thanksgiving is at your house. Honey, this is the home. And even if it's not at your house yet, you get this home, it will be. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But you guys, this ain't even like, I mean, this, you've seen a lot. Hmm. Should we take it outside or go to the primary? Let's go outside. I'm gonna say the best for last. Now, this is nice, but we're gonna, we're gonna look at the primary last. Come on out here with me. Please and thank you. You guys, now look at this. What? So you have your outside kitchen built in. Of course, these are upgrades, okay guys? I, I wanna make sure I let you guys know. This is an upgrade. Of course, your house, this will be additional, but beautiful, okay? All I'm saying is it's a necessity. I love a good outside kitchen. You have your dining table here, right by your kitchen. Grill something, eat something. You, you like that? Uh, bop, bop, bop. I like that a lot. It has the fans, it has all the spot lighting or the recessed lighting going all the way above. I mean, first off, check out these ceilings. Amazing. And if you keep on coming, see, you see, I love how the pillar just kind of divided. This is the eating side, now this is the fun side. This is where you have your fire pit. They don't have one out here, but just envision it with me. You have your fire pit, you have your coffee, you have your drinks, whatever it is, you have your book, whatever it is, this is where you just kind of come, sit, relax, have a good time. Now they put their TV over here. I see why they did it, but then I would have to flop I would have to put this here and then kind of uh, probably bring it more here. I don't know. I don't know. Cause that don't make sense to me. But again, this is a model home. I get it though. You, it, you got a space to put your TV out here, okay? And then the best part of this house is the yard. What? Hello? I can see it now. Big pool, huge pool. Add you a few palm trees. Had you a little hot tub. Get you a little water, little water feature in your pool. And then over here you can have something for the kiddos, like a trampoline, playset. Oh, it's just, I mean, literally, the sky's the limit. Like this house, <laughs> I, 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 I literally cannot stop raving about it. Oh, and then of course, it's four-sided brick. I mean, hello, love a good four-sided brick. So let's come back inside. Y'all, it's a little cool, it's a little nippy. So let's go check out the primary bedroom. You guys, you guys are truly in for a treat. Hello, you guys are truly in for a treat. So if you come this way, you're gonna see how beautiful this primary bedroom is. Again, they came in with the neutral tones, the whites, the creams, all my aesthetic, all my vibe. I mean, you just, it's just so clean, it's so airy. I just, I, I love it so much. You guys have no idea. Okay guys, sorry about that. We did have some people, it is the model home. People did come in and I just wanted to stop and introduce myself and then also let them know that the host or the sales agent is out showing the property at the moment. But anyway, as you guys carry on, as I was saying, the home is very warm. It, it, it just really hits all my buttons. Like I love this home so much. The color scheme, the palette, the, the layout, um, everything about it. I'm loving the windows. I mean, what's not to like about this home? It's absolutely stunning. But you guys know how I like to do. So just come on. Y'all know what time it is. Welcome. What? Oh my goodness. Y'all, I love me a good bathroom. I'm not gonna lie. Every, every time I find one that I just like a little bit more than the last, that's my problem. I'm gonna buy about 20 houses just because of the just because of what I do for a living. But anyway, you guys, as you can see, both mirrors are framed. Yay! It's the little things. I'm not gonna lie countertop color I would have went with white but still I'm not taking no points off because it's still nice it still goes with the theme the white cabinetry I love that and then I love me a good freestanding tub now I do I, I like the fact that 
it is a rectangle. I do, but I feel like it's a little bit narrow. Like mine at home is like huge and it's round. It's freestanding and I feel like I have so much more space. In this one, I feel like I'm gonna be like this. But nonetheless, if you're someone who like a little more cozy bath, this is perfect. I do like the fact that there's a window. Now I will say, if you use this bathroom, you're definitely gonna have to get some real drapes in here or you're gonna have to frost the windows yourself so that, you know, those, I can't think of the name of it. Anyways, so then also you have, uh oh, ooh. That means it works. <laughs> okay guys, so if you come on in, first off, I actually used to be a fan of the bench and the tub until I, my client who is a nurse, told me that this has a lot of germs and bacteria. Eh, that kind of gave me a heebie-jeebies a little bit. But you can probably fit about four people in here comfortably, just giving you guys a space reference. So I like that, it's very spacious. You can sit down, shave your legs, do all that fun stuff. It's a very nice space in there. It's a very good size. And then I love the fact that it's glass, glass. You know, you have very little silver poking out. I love that a lot. And then you have your powder room, his and her vanities, freestanding tub. And then you have this huge, massive walk-in closet. What? Like, I'm obsessed. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it, this closet is everything, okay? Like, and then think about it. If you actually get this closet redone for California closets, it's amazing. And it has even space up here. Oh, just on this side. So all the way at the top. So they're actually utilizing every square inch of this closet. So guys, I know if you're here at the end of this video, you're probably like, okay, Tiara, spill the beans. How much is this home? <sighs> you guys, this home is currently listed today is $786,000. If you guys are interested in this home or any other home in Houston or the surrounding cities, I would love to be your agent. I will leave my buyer's representation um, link or I'm sorry, my buyer's consultation link um, in the description box. If you guys are interested, please book your free buyer's consultation and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye now. Oh, mm -hmm.